Hello, my name is Gidmina, I'm part of Amazon FB seller and I'm back with another retail arbitrage video. It's a completely new series that I'm doing where I'm sharing all of the live leads with you. So whatever I find in retail stores, I will be sharing in this video. So without further ado, let's just go to my first store. Just wanted to share that there was a lot of products on clearance, discounted close to half price as you can see here. However, I scanned them all, none of them were too profitable. Found this product though. However, the only issue was those two boxes were damaged, so I wouldn't be picking these products up personally. However, I still wanted to analyze it. So as always, scan the barcode, enter the buy price and click analyze. Nice profit of close to four pounds. If I scroll down, I can see that I can sell this product. Nice estimated sales. If I refer to charts, I can see that this product price is a bit unstable, jumping about from 19.99 to 40.99. So I can st straight away indicate that this price is unstable. As always, what I like to do, just go back and reanalyze entering the price of 40.99, just in case the price drops to 49. I would like to make sure that I would still be making money. And in this case, I would still make one pound. So I would make my money back an extra one pound. As a smaller Sainsbury store, I wasn't really expecting to find much. However, there was a clearance section. As, but as you've seen in the video, there weren't any profitable products. Um, I just shared that they were clearance. I scanned them all and none of them were very profitable. There was few products that I would have potentially made 10, 15% return investment. However, I'm not sharing them just because I would not personally pick them up. I'm only sharing leads, which I think uh, are leads which are great and I would, I would personally purchase them. So that's the ones I'm sharing. However, if you... If you're not VT, VT registered, there are, are few profitable products that you could probably make around 30 to 40 percent return investment. But in this case, as I'm VT registered, I would just make pennies, so yes, I didn't even share them. However, there was one product that I shared. Uh, again, uh, damaged, damaged products, so I would not typically purchase product like that. Anyways, uh, it's it was a good stop. You know, I'm gonna hit a larger Sainsbury, so hopefully I can have a bit more success there. See you in a bit. So I arrived to another store, slightly bigger Sainsbury's this time. So hopefully there will be more items on sale. Without further ado, let's just go and check the store out. See you in a bit. <music> Okay, so I'm out of this uh, Sainsbury slightly bigger one. Yeah, there is, there were a lot of products in clearance again. Uh, none of them are profitable. So, you know, I scanned tons of products. There were a lot of beauty products, three for two. Scanned them, a lot of uh, shavers, hair dryers, uh, electronics as well on sale. None of them are profitable. There you go, it just goes to show, you know, it's not always as easy just going into the store and being able to find profitable products. No, you know, sometimes you just gonna spend ages and won't be able to find anything too, you know, it's just part of part of the game. I suppose it's a bit disappointing. I feel like the, 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 I missed sales, to be honest. Feels like there are qu quite a lot of empty shelves um, as well. So I feel like I just missed a bit clearance sales but there you go you know um haven't done this in a year still need to uh, pick this up and uh, no problem what can you do i will try another star uh, maybe a different one and uh, see if i can find anything at all today okay cool let's go okay so um okay that's me at my next stop i felt like going to a completely different star boots let's let's try it see if there is anything there let's go first product clearance one pound as always, why the open buy would go, scan the barcode, enter the buy price and click analyze. Nice profit of two pounds, close of 200 return on investment. Nice estimated sales, I can sell this product. Referring to the charts, I can see that Amazon was previously on the listing, just recently dropped off and Amazon was selling this product for five pounds 50. So as always, what I like to do, just enter, this, change the sale price to 550, just in case the Amazon comes back on the listing. I just like to make sure that I would make my money back. And in this case, if Amazon comes back, I would still might make my money back. So I would pick this product. Another product, pre-workout powder, discounted to five pounds. As always, open buy would go, enter the buy price and click analyze. I can see that estimated profit would be around four pounds, close to 80% return investment. 
I can see that estimated sales, monthly sales are around 17 units per month and I can sell this product as well. Referring to the charts, I can straight away see that the price decreased from $24.99 to $16.99 very recently. So what I like to do is use another metric called ASIN average. So and referring to this, I can see that this product for the last 180 days was selling for average around 24 pounds so it straight away indicates that it is possible to make more money than the current sale price so i also like to refer to competition and look at the current stock levels so i can see that the first sellers in total have around 22 different units so referring to my previous metric estimated sales i remember that estimated monthly sales were around 17 so i can roughly estimate that it would take around a month to or month and a bit for the price to recover so what i like to take is the next seller's sales price so if you look at the seller number seven currently or six currently selling at 22.95 i like to go back to my um buy but go and enter different sales price so 22.99 in this case and reanalyze this product just to see how much i could potentially make if the price recovers and in this case, I could, if I hold this product for around a month, I could possibly make around eight pounds, so almost double the profit. Last product, this discounted to one pound. And as always, open buy go, scan the barcode, enter the buy price and click analyze. I can see that estimated profit is close to four pounds and the return investment is close to 400. Very profitable product. Scrolling down, I like to refer to estimated sales and I can see estimated sales are around 10 units per month. Also in IP alert section, I can see that it's highlighted in orange. So for my, for my further analysis, I will need to bear that in mind. Referring to the charts, I can see that the product price is a bit unstable, jumping anywhere from 9 to 11 to 13 pounds. So I always like to refer to ASIN average, which indicates the average sales price. And I can see that this product is selling around 10 to 13 pounds uh, on average therefore i'm not really too concerned about the price uh, jumps so i feel confident in that case going back to the point where i highlighted that there is orange ip alert what i like to do is go to competition section and refer to the sellers and usually we'd get ip alert where there are less than three fb sellers and in this case you can see that there is only two fb sellers I also like to check seller names just to make sure that the brand name and the seller name does not match. And in this case, I will also refer to the product name and I can see this number seven, which is well-known brand. And I know that you can sell it. So there is no concerns regarding the IP alert and I would feel comfortable at picking this product and selling it. Okay, so that's me out of the boots. Look at that. So many profitable products varying from 100 to 300 to return investment. What else can you ask for? I mean, it's great. Great, great stop. I wasn't expecting to find any, uh, but there you go. I can't remember last time I was in this boot store. I even had to ask a member of staff where the clearance section was because I was just wondering about it. It's like, oh, I can't remember. I can't find it. Yeah, and the lady, she just pointed out uh, where it was. And there you go. So many nice, profitable products and uh, decent quantities as well. Um, yeah, again, just a couple of pointers to bear in mind when you're dealing with beauty and you know, hazmat goods, uh, dangerous goods. In this case, you know, you will need to send them to Amazon separately. Um, so just bear that in mind as well. And also make sure you always uh, check the date, use by date, um, you know, expiry date on these products. There was a couple of food, uh, the, the protein powder that I pointed out, you know, uh, goods like that. You need to make sure you, you check those things before you're purchasing them. But there you go. Um, three stops, three different stores. You know, I'll keep this video short again, but there you are. A um, couple more profitable products coming your way. So use this opportunity to find them in your local stores. Okay, see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.